Hello, trespassers. Welcome back to my home and back to my library. I'm so happy you're here for story time at Trespassers Will. Today I have another cozy winter story. So I hope you'll snuggle up close to someone you love and enjoy this story together. This is another story by one of my favorite author illustrators, Jan Brett. I'll let you take a good long time to look at the pictures because there is so much detail that every time you hear this story or look at the pictures, you might notice something new. If you don't have this story, I highly encourage you to go to your library or your bookstore and pick one up. Our story today is called The Hat, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. And here's our title page, The Hat, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Curious Hedgy found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgy thought. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Hedgy saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that, the hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander. But tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment and off he ran. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgy tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Mmm, purred the cat and off he ran. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgy in a patch of brambles. Hedgy, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgy said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. Oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgy? The mama pig asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off and if the icy wind blows up. I see, said the mama pig. And off she ran. Are you noticing what's happening up here? <laughs> That's one of the details I think that you will find very interesting. where all those animals are going. Hedgy, what is that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgy. 
That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy, Hedgie shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgie was usually so friendly. And off he ran. Hedgie just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit in his den. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgie thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgie's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgie headed for his den, and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. And that's when she saw all of her missing woolens. The animals had taken them, and each one was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgie reached his den. How ridiculous they all look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? The end. Trespassers, I love that story because our little hero hedgehog got the last lap in the end, didn't he? Well, until we read again, I wish you all a very wonderful and cozy day. Bye.